Well, hi, I'm Jim Pence uh, with See the Light, and uh, this is the first of our quick sketch videos. Uh, quick sketching is learning to get a feel for uh, just drawing something quickly without worrying too much about all of the details, because sometimes we fuss so much about uh, getting everything perfect that we never draw anything. That's one of my big problems, uh, is I'm a perfectionist, as a lot of artists are, and we want to uh, you know just get it just right, and so we, we never really draw much because uh, it's not perfect. So so that's what uh, this little workshop is. Is uh, It's just a quick sketch to get us uh, started drawing something that we might develop into something else. Now I have a little sketchbook here. This is a, um, a multimedia sketchbook, so it, it will take uh, both uh, you know, pencil, it'll take pen and ink, it'll take uh, a little bit of watercolor, uh, and then I've got uh, some uh, Tombow uh, fi uh, fine point brush pens, uh, or they're brush pens, but you, you can uh, get fine point uh, plus uh, a little bit more uh, of, of a texture from them. <clears throat> so that's all I'm using. Now, you might be wondering why I'm using this instead of like a, a pencil with an eraser, uh, because in this kind of quick sketching, uh, the last thing I want to do is to be able to erase and correct, uh, because uh, if I erase and correct, uh, then again, I keep fussing with it and trying to get everything perfect. And the goal here is to just get something down on paper that will work from. So I'm just going to take one of these uh, pens and uh, I'm going to uh, sketch the uh, stock of the plant out and I'm going to do it you know fairly quickly uh, and I'm not really worrying about getting the details right I'm not worrying about uh, getting everything looking right uh, this is very similar to uh, when uh, if you if you've seen some of my videos on uh, uh, contour blind contour drawing it's kind of like blind contour drawing but um, there there aren't any restrictions in looking or not looking because with contour drawing or blind contour drawing you're not supposed to look at your paper uh, ever uh, here all i'm doing is just very loosely you know kind of observing i'm seeing i'm not worrying about too many of the details at this point i just want to get a feel for the object that i'm drawing and I'm going to just have fun. And that's, you know, that's the, the biggest challenge. Again, if you're particularly if you're you know, really creative and artistic, man, we want to make everything perfect. Uh, we want it to look just right. And, uh, and it takes so much time and we just never get around to having fun in the process. So I want you to just enjoy yourself. Have fun with this. Um, not trying to make a, a finished work of art here. Okay, so, uh, and you will see this in the, uh, the, the photo that I'm drawing from uh, is, you'll see a link to it that you can pull from. Okay, we're getting about down to the level of the flowers. So what I wanna do here, I bring this down a little bit farther, is I wanna look at the flowers and I'm kinda seeing a, a circle, you know, with the little buds coming out. See some more flower shapes here. This is where my bee is going to be in a, in a minute. But I want to get more of these leaves out. There's some flowers over here. And, you know, you can tell there's... It's not easy to even tell what my flowers and what my leaves are. Because uh, at this point, I'm just laying in some shapes, not even trying to be accurate with the shapes. I'm going to get some of these things. I don't know the technical term for those. I am not a botanist. Uh, so there's a little flower. It's going to be here under the bee. And... Okay, then we get down here, and we've got uh, much bigger leaves near the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, bring that up a little bit more. Some flower or some leaves here that are kind of 
obscuring where that big leaf attaches. And, and there's another one over here. I could carry it into the other page, but I'm not going to. Just going to have some fun. Okay, so now we're going to look at the bee. Okay, the bee, here's this flower here, here's this flower up here. The bee's got its head right in. I'm going to be a little bit more careful with this because I want it to at least look remotely close to a bee. Again, I'm still not going to try to make it just absolutely perfect. But I'm going to at least sketch the wings in. Kind of, the wings are going to be transparent, so I'm going to just go ahead and finish drawing the shape of the bee and get a little bit of an eye there. Another bit there. And And he's got a leg and a coming off right about here. And then, okay. Now <clears throat> I can continue to come back in and begin to add some more detail if I want. Maybe get a few veins here. And then if, if I want to add just maybe a little bit of shading in the stock. Let's see, if, if I had a pencil and eraser, I'd be erasing and reworking this all the time, which is exactly what we don't want to do at this point. I just want to have some fun drawing. And... If I want to add a little color, I can use a brush, another, you know, kind of a watercolor brush pen, and I can add a little color in there just to give us a, a feel of, uh, you know, what this is. It's kind of hard to tell at this point. Try a little darker green in, in here where these leaves are. Notice some of them are kind of yellowish. And that's because we're near the end of the season and the plant is just kind of dying. And it's getting its last gasp in. And again, these... Uh, are just inexpensive watercolor brushes that you can find pretty much at any arts and crafts store. Don't spend a lot of money on them. As the idea here is just to have some fun. You notice the you've got a kind of a blue background there, and I'm gonna. I put some of that in just to highlight my flowers a bit. I'm 
but I want to get the feel of those at least. These little brush pens are very nice for work like this when you're really not, you know, you're not trying for a finished look. You just want to kind of play with some of the color, get a feel for for things. Because one of my uh, one of my weaknesses often is I want to go straight to a finished picture. I'm not uh, I'm not always patient, and I, I don't do studies. And this is really what this would be is more of a study. Uh, it's not a not intended to be a finished picture by any means, and it certainly looks that way, doesn't it? But it gets me drawing, and I have some fun with it. And that's really the goal. And then, if I decide, yeah, I think I'd like to, you know, turn this into something else, then I can take it and work with it some more. And I may just do that. Okay, just a little bit more. All right, let's... Give our B a little bit of color here. Just so people can figure out. Oh, that's a B. Kind of a yellowish. Bright green there. Let's throw some of that in. But the whole point is, you know, just relax, have some fun, uh, and uh, enjoy the process. I think I'm going to come back here. It's a little darker. Let's make those bands a little bit more noticeable on the bee. Make his wing a little bit more noticeable. And then just a little bit. Some of these are really kind of turning yellow. So let's throw some of that yellow in there. And you can play with this all day long. But that's going to be where I'll stop. Uh, just a quick sketch of a bee. Uh, I've got this picture. Uh, you'll see, again find a link to it and you can uh, download that and try drawing it yourself and uh, have some fun with that this week. And I may return to this uh, as we go forward. But I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, keep drawing and have fun. I'm Jim Pence with See the Light. See you next time.